since Michael De Silva, we had trouble getting the sermon up yesterday, so if it doesn't go up today, I'll probably redo the sermon again. And uh, I know I was having technical difficulties getting it out to YouTube, so I don't know if something was wrong with the app or what was going on. But anyway, um, we will get the sermon out to you sometime this week, the one that I did about overcoming sin, so that will be coming up. And also, the guy is supposed to call from... Uh, Bass Pro Shop today to let me know why they discontinued our to allow us to demo there the food saver gain saver product line the products so I'll let you know what's going on with that and of course um, hopefully I wanted to send this machine back I'm, that's what I'm hoping I told her just to hold off on that and see if we can get that back in there because I really need the money you know it's 180 dollars that I could be utilizing but the lady did send me 80 bucks she was a little later in getting it to me, which was very nice, I thought. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, keep praying for us. You know, pray for Pastor G's court date. Uh, his court date will be on the 15th of December to determine, you know, his fate. But I think he's innocent of all these charges. I think they're just a masquerade of, you know, just trying to get after him and trying to, you know, cause trouble because some people are jealous of him when people get jealous. When you got people that conspire because they don't like him for some reason or another, they want to do that. It's just like what people do with Jesus to kill him. And that's what they're doing here to this guy. They're not killing him, but they killed him as far as his career is concerned. And hopefully he'll be able to start a church up, you know, after all these charges do come out that he's innocent, that he'll be able to start a church up after a year. I hope that's the case for Pastor G. Because I really truly do believe the guy is an innocent man. And, you know, a lot of people could say that people did a lot of things. But, you know, that's an, an indictment is a rumor. It's, I educate people. An indictment is a rumor. I mean, somebody could say that you were out seen with that girl, you know, with a teenage girl, or you were out seen with that other lady, but that doesn't mean it's true. It just means somebody allegedly said you said it. And they have to have the proof to prove what they're saying. See, first, that's how it works in the legal process. You come up with something, and then if you have the proof, then you provide the providence of the proof over a period of time. And if you don't have the problem, then if the party doesn't have the problem to prove who filed the indictments, meaning the allegations is really what they are, then the charges and all get dropped or thrown out. Because they get thrown out because there were no charges, there were no proof. You know, there's proof, and that's one thing. But there's no proof, and it's just hearsay and skeptics and people just make things up. That's another. Another charge will be filed against those people because you can forgive those people when somebody messes up your life and does slander against people. So it says slanderous accusations against people, you know, like they did with Pastor G. I really do believe that's what's going on here in case and case and case. Um, you know, then these people are going to have to pay for what they've done. And, of course, we need to pray for that, for Pastor G. And make sure that, uh, you know, everything goes his way. That the Lord will find true justice in the whole matter, no matter what it is. And that justice will prevail. Also, we need to pray for the Philippines. People over in the Philippines, there's still a lot of problems over there. Uh, at this time, people still don't have power or running water, and there's still a lot of people starving, and a whole lot of smell, still a lot of death, dead bodies around, you know, and uh, you know, over 10,000 people have died. So, and a lot of things are devastated over there, you know. It's just like a bomb going off, is what it looks like. It's still haven't, they made a lot of progress, but there's still a lot more progress because they got to get the power up and running, the water running, you know, they need the basic needs like what we have here to make the society be a society, a civilization again. But they're working on that, so just keep praying for the people that more people will come out from other countries with aid and be able to help these people this time in aid. And that people will show their generosity in ways that they've never seen. So let's pray for that. And also pray for all the missionaries around the world. Pray for the homes and the orphanages in Mexico uh, that we support, the Church of Christ supports. And pray for all the missionary workers that are all over the world, the ones that have their pastors that oversee other churches. Pray for them and help them to be able to uh, do their job more effectively and long as they're doing what the Bible teaches, uh, then Lord, please look after those people who are doing exactly that and you know, providing a good you know, atmosphere and a good environment for them to grow spiritually. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you do, and please pray for the people and pray for the Silvices Media and New Hunter Church of Christ. Help it to grow and help people to help us you know, in many ways that we need financially, whether it be you know, people volunteering at time or services or just donating stuff like sound equipment, computers, uh, you know, you know, a movie screen, uh, lighting, 
uh, you know, podcaster equipment, you know, things like that. In good condition, we can use it because it'll help our ministry and also help us with other things that we do. Even, uh, you know, a DJ system, you know, a sound power mixer that we can have that we can take portable so when i do ministries and old folk when i go to respite homes to do ministries because that's what we want to do here starting in the spring working with uh hanover village and things and doing some preaching over there um we like to have a sound system that's light and portable that could be donated you know that would work really well and we could carry it over there and it wouldn't be really heavy and uh we could just dolly it in there and set it up and it would be not very hard to set up and just pray that people would provide that for new hunter church of christ so we can take this on the road and go to different places and you know raise money for the church and also to preach about the lord it's not about the money but the real thing is about just saving souls it's not about numbers on the plate or about how much money we can get but it's about really saving souls and that's what it's about and the money will come if we do it the right way just like it's always come because we, we're doing it because we're doing it for the Lord, and it's not about the monies. It's about, even though we need the monies, but it's really more about saving people's souls and changing people's lives. And that's what it's about, folks. So keep those things in mind, you know, as you pray, and pray for, you know, pray for people, you know, that you know that are working and trying to start their own business, entrepreneurs that live around you or a way that they keep getting work and hope that I get more mystery shop gigs because you never know where you'll see me. So we'll do videos where we are. Uh, we're allowed to. We'll do videos there from there to let you know what we're doing to keep you abreast of what's going on with the services media and let you know what we're doing. Like when we're doing DJ gigs, we might have videos if we're allowed to tape videos and things. So you'll see little snippets of it, you know, up on YouTube and on Facebook and all the other media outlets where it's shown and LinkedIn and things. So just keep us in your prayers and, uh, you know, and please pray for us and help any way you can if you're able to help us with providing work for me and computer work. Like I said, really do need work because I got a $125 fee for credit card machines and I'm locked in a contract for four years and I can't get out of that contract because if I get out of it, I'll have to pay $5,000 or at least about $4,000. So it's better just to pay the $125 a month, but help us Lord to get the work and help, you know, that people will come to help, you know, to provide by giving me work so that I'll be able to pay that fee and be able to make money too as well to have profit. You know, because it takes a lot to run a business, you know, doing computer work I can do. And I've been doing it for over 10 years. I've gone public last year, you know, back in January on Facebook. But we've been I've been doing this for about 12 years now. So, you know, I'm two years public, but all the other time I've been doing, you know, freelance, just doing it on the side. But I've made good money doing it. So I said, hey, I'm going to go public. And this year, I, you know, I made so far around six hundred dollars last year i made about 200 so i made about almost three times as much as what i made last year but i'm still wasting money because i have these credit card machines so you know i gotta make money like i gotta make three get three jobs at least every month to make a little profit you know make it'd be nice to make sixteen hundred dollars a month you know it really would be nice because that's what i can make with my check and if i want to get off my check i can just you know call social security and stop it and then i can make as much as i want but if I make more than they, the, every dollar you go over 1600 you know, I think it's 1600 620 is what I can make. It's 1620 I'm sorry. That's what I can make. So, you know, if you can help us out in any way you can, we really do appreciate it. I'm just being truthful with you because I've always been that way. And that's the only way I know how to operate. So if you can help us out, really do appreciate it. I love you all. Thanks. Take care. And uh, Global Lease and I'll be calling you. So don't be running the card through. Don't be running the thing through you because you're going to cost me more money at the bank. There's no money there, but you can run it through tomorrow. The money will be there tomorrow. So if you wait off, uh, you know, we run your payments through tomorrow. Don't run them through today. There's no money in there. Okay. All right. And you have a way to look to see what's in the account. So you should be able to verify that before you go get your payment. You know, so try to hold off on that payment or I'm going to have to make you all manual. Because you're one that's caused me more financial grief by running it through. And I know you want your money, but like I said, you know, I got to have the money to be able to pay you because I'm good for it. But you just got to give me the time to get the money. And all I owe is on is just one machine. So just give me some time. Give me a couple days and I'll have it. And tomorrow, give me till tomorrow. And then you can run it through tomorrow you know, during the day, not at midnight tonight, but tomorrow. All right. And uh, I really do appreciate that. Global Leasing and First Ad are very good people. If you're with Wells Fargo, they really do a lot of things for you, and they will waive fees and things, and 
and they'll help you, you know, because they know you're good for it and they, they want to see you succeed. And that's what they've done. They've done a lot of that for me a lot of times. I really do appreciate that because they have done that. So I want to thank them for that. And I'm glad that they are working with me because I am a small business and it's really been hard with all these fees and stuff. And, uh, it's not helping me financially. And I know they need the money and I want to pay them and I'm good for it, but I just need to get some work. So thank you for everything and uh just you know bear with me all right and then also people i hope y'all can help me out i'm just being truthful here because that's all i know how to be and i hope fairmount comes through to help us here at the services media too with electric bill and with um rent um i haven't heard nothing from fairmount so far but anyway thank you for everything and uh just keep all those things in prayer at this time i'll see you later I'll see you tomorrow with another update like i said we'll get the sermon out to you either today or I'll redo it so we can get it on there in a more timely fashion. All right, see you later, and you all have a nice day, and take care. God bless.